On this weekend's dramatic standoff where a suspect kept law enforcement at bay for nearly 26 hours. He was holed up inside his home near 83rd and Keystone and that's where Brandon Scott joins us again live. Brandon? John, it's tough to see, but the suspect's house is back here behind these trees, and that is where Douglas County Sheriff's deputies came to serve a warrant, forcing the suspect into a mental health facility. But that suspect did not surrender. Instead, he opened fire on deputies and an Omaha police canine. The deputies were not injured, but the canine was killed. Mark LaRue was heavily armed with nine guns, and for nearly 26 hours, he hunkered down inside his home, completely surrounded by Douglas County Sheriff's deputies, Omaha police, the state patrol, even the bomb squad and SWAT team. In volatile situations like this, law enforcement routinely wear bulletproof vests to protect themselves. But Cobus, the veteran Omaha police canine sent into the suspect's home, wasn't wearing a vest when the suspect allegedly shot and killed him. Years ago, we did have a bulletproof vest for, uh, for a canine. We tried it on every single dog in the unit. And um, what we found with our dogs is um, they can be cumbersome even if it's no matter how well fitted the vest is to the dog. Um, the dogs become very distracted when they have that vest on. And uh, many times and we, you know, if you deploy them with it, the dogs are, they don't realize that that vest is there to protect them. And so they go to search. A lot, many times they're going to stop and they're trying to chew and get that vest off. Nationwide, Cobus isn't the only police canine killed in the line of duty recently. In fact, in Norfolk, Virginia, a canine was killed in a similar standoff. That canine was not wearing a vest either. But what's interesting is that CNN anchor Anderson Cooper heard about the Virginia canine that was killed in the line of duty and donated enough money for the entire Norfolk, Virginia PD canine unit to have bulletproof vests. And those vests aren't cheap. They're about $2,000 a piece. But John Mallory, when I talked to Omaha police today, they said even if Cobus had one of those bulletproof vests, he likely would not have lived based on where he was shot and the injuries he sustained. All right, thank you. That's Brandon Scott reporting live tonight. And